Hey guys, thought it was time to do a quick update. It's been a few months apparently. We take a break from videos over the summertime. We just wanted to kind of catch up where we're at with ministry and personally. Yep. I am more convinced than ever that we have to do this. I have been encountering people all summer long. Imagine you have two that are still like trying to figure out COVID, trying to figure out life, trying to figure out relationships. And a lot of folks who got out of the habit of going to church have not come back. And what they've discovered is like, hey, I think my life is as healthy as it was. I'm, I'm sort of out of the rhythm of doing it. And I don't want to go back. And part of that's just because the church isn't everything that it needs to be right now. And it just it it just burns in me that we have got to get this right. We've got to help uh, churches be healthy. Um, uh, they can't get healthy until their leadership gets healthy. And so we want to spend a lot of time uh, working in that area. Um, I've had friends that are wrestling with identity, friends that are wrestling with... Um, their relationships with marriage, their relationships with, with mm -hmm. leaders there. And again, just really grateful. Just this week, I got a call from a church that uh, their minister died of COVID uh, very unexpectedly. And they're not sure, like, how do we how do we make sense of this? How do we move forward? Do we move forward? Do we find somebody new? Like, what do we do here? And I'm so thankful because of your help that we can step into that space um, and be able to kind of walk them through this next season together. Yeah. Yeah, on a on a personal note, we're still um, we've still got our little foster baby, and she's mm -hmm. she's doing well. Mia's in college. Lots of changes in our life this past twelve months. Mm -hmm. Just transitions into different stages of life. It's been fun to experience mm -hmm. it with each of the kids and all the different stuff they're doing. People ask me if uh, if it's okay. Like you have an eighteen year old. I'm like, yes, I am old, stinking old. Um, can't believe that I have an 18 year old, but it would be a lot harder if she weren't amazing. Yeah. And um, man, just so thankful for who she is, who the boys are becoming, and uh, grateful for um, grateful for our family. They help us minister well. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, we're thankful all the time for your support, for your prayer support, your encouragement that we receive all the time in so many different ways, um, and the way that the ways that God's generous through many of you. Um, we appreciate all of that support and could not do, we totally acknowledge we could not do this ministry half as well without all of you partnering with us in those mm -hmm. ways. And I just realized you have something in your hair. There you go. There you go. And I have something all in right. your hair. Have a great, thanks guys.